One. You're lost. One. It's second. One. Joe's first. One. Can't bear to accept the fact, can you? No, one. No. Can't bear to accept the fact that I won. The fact is that Joe won. For the Ow. first time on the tour. Ow. How did he win? By getting out first, by getting ready first. He's doing extra maintenance tasks yeah, after getting do ready. That if I didn't go on the sand. After so getting go ready. I'm doing extra maintenance. You wouldn't have had to do it if. Have a good trip then if you're off. <laughs> Cheers. You're going to lose simply from prattling on and trying to get victory when it's not yours. When should I go downtown and wait to show you that I am ready? He's doing extra jobs. <laughs> he is indeed a fiend. Where are you going? That rhubarb yogurt. I mean, rock even. <laughs> Start again. Rhubarb custard. Rhubarb and custard rock, was it? Cool. Nice. Youth hostel up on the hill there. Probably.
Someone gonna give him a hand? No, he's gonna be all right. See, he can do it. Yeah. So, all right, bunkerized inside. All Time to go, I think. Let's go! You could bring the bike. Yeah. It is, yeah, obviously.
thought that was a camera and I was like, ah. It's going wrong, you thought. That man's so slow, it can't be a really good one. We could just stop halfway up the hill. Well, we're going up this hill to the left to St Agnes, so let's go now. Can we talk to me about this first? We've watched it, I said, How do you feel after doing 115 miles? Um, my legs are making it better. That's all? Yeah. It's not bad. I feel I've got scratches on my legs. Um, how do you get those then? Um, when we were going on that country road, I ran through a lot of bushes and, and the bike cog scratched me a few times. Right. And landed on the side of my leg. And um, due to pedals, I've done a bit of damage to my legs as well. Those pedals. Definitely go. But you preferred those to my pedals. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't fall off. No, this is true. Um, I slipped once. Right. So that's good then. That's when I have my back of my leg on the camera trail. Okay. Who's your favourite hostel? Um. Most probably the last one. Currentport. Yeah. Why do you like it best? Because um, I like the views and and I, I like the guy that owns it because he's really very cool. A cool surfer dude. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and the other thing I didn't like is is we couldn't we couldn't like have more privacy though because there was other people to share. In our dormitory, yeah. yeah. True. Okay. So, have you enjoyed it overall or not? Yeah. Even though the weather wasn't too brilliant. It was quite wet at times and quite windy at times. But you did okay. Yeah. Quite an adventure. You did very well indeed. Do you want to say a word or two? Okay, you'll have to then. Which, which part of you ached most? My feet, because I'm wearing perspex shoes. Perspex shoes. 
your favourite hostel? Uh, you know, uh, first, second, second. Trey Arnold? Yes. Right. Okay. No. Why was that your favourite? I think, yeah, I think because it Big blue restaurant, which you liked, even though you couldn't afford to buy anything there. How's your money situation worked out? Um, badly. Through <laughs> loss. How much do you reckon you've lost? Um, or mislaid? Got about ten. I bet some of the pannier somewhere and wrapped up something. Have you got a wallet? No. Get a wallet. Keep everything in a wallet. Yes. Can't lose it. Spent it all on a helmet. You didn't lose it, you lost it to a man in the shop. Here we go, downhill. So did you did you find it more tiring than you expected? I really I thought it was really easy. Yeah. It's nice though. And the best bit, even though the weather wasn't brilliant, it wasn't. To be honest, but most enjoyable bit. Pat's like Pat's like, yeah. You were so hoping it was going to be nice again when we went back the next morning and it was all wet and miserable. Yeah. There you go. At least you know about these places for future reference, don't you? Yeah. And you, Josh, have decided you want to become um, a surfer? Yeah, and possibly. Yeah. And you want to own otters? <laughs> Lots of otters. Lots of otters. <laughs> and something else you said you wanted to do? Oh, you want to? You want to go on a motorbike race, off-road rallying? Yeah, I don't do that. Never said that. No, you didn't say it. I just thought you did. Yeah, and something else you wanted to own? Your own airfield, wasn't it, or something? No. No. Passenger. I said I want to. Uh, I want to. Have my own house in Hawaii. <laughs> it's like a nice Nice. But you could just have a house in Newquay and do it there. Yeah. Not as warm though. Yeah. Well, you did very well for a first tour. We're very impressed with you, Josh. Can't complain at all. But Joe, just give us a brief rundown of where we are and what time it is. And we are in Peter's Hill near Durnford, and we are at five sixteen precisely. And why are we here? To have pizzas. Our end of tour treat. Indeed. Looking forward to that. Hungry? You were thirsty too. You fell asleep in the car, didn't you? You were so asleep that you didn't wake up when we called your name twice and shouted your name Jesus. and opened the car door. It was only when you face. slammed the car door that you woke up. I guess you're a bit tired then. Josh, this match. <laughs> well, we'll show you the pizza when it arrives in a minute, I guess. Finally, here we are. The pizza has arrived. Marks out of ten. Is that ten? Marks out of ten. Twenty-five? My God. That's good then. And we still get to get home in time for Doctor Who. Didn't we do well? 